hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is been a sigma from gsm promit today i'm here to share with you how to remove the passcode lock together with the apple id using the aux pro version 5.0 that is developed by ament unlocker this ramdrick software is by far the most stable of all time on this planet earth and it's currently available for the windows users so in this video i'll be showing you guys how to use this tool to remove the passcode lock including the apple id on this iphone x running on ios 16.5 so stick with me to the end of this video also if you are new to this channel kindly do me a favor and smash that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified anytime we upload a content like this and if you're old to this channel thanks for coming back once again all right sure so to download the aux pro software you can click the link in the description below to download the tool or you search for ahmedonlocker.tech to download it from the official website so once you're done downloading you just unzip it or extract it just as you can see in the video so after the extraction you uh open the two folder and launch the au ramdix version 5.0 this has a very interesting cool features a new interface and more advanced features All right, sure. So here we are. All right, sure. So these are the interface looks like. So once you um, the software launches, you just connect your device in recovery mode first. So now the reason why you should put your device in recovery mode before the DFU mode um, is that um, to avoid the device rebooting from the dfu mode or switching from dfu mode so to do that you quickly press the volume up volume down simultaneously volume up volume down simultaneously and hold the power button you keep holding the power till the phone reboot even after the phone reboot you keep holding the power till you see the itunes or recovery mode so just as you can see in the video this that's what i'm doing currently so you keep holding the power button Keep holding. All right, sure. So here we are. We are in the recovery mode, as you can see in the video. All right, sure. So real quick, um, let the tool detect. Okay, let me scroll there. All right, so you click on the DFU helper on the tool. This will pop up and then you click on the start button. This will help you to put your device into DFU mode. So you follow the on-screen instructions and press the volume down power key. After five seconds, you release the power. Keep holding the volume down. You read the on-screen instructions to put your device into DFU mode. So once the device is in DFU mode, you see the successful message. So what you need to do next is that you open your device manager. Let me walk you guys through this process one real quick. There are a lot of people that face some challenges here. So you need to confirm your device is connected under the universal serial bus controllers and the device uh, uh, driver is Apple mobile USB driver. So when you are done with that, you choose the iOS version that is the iOS 16 XX and then you choose one of these. You click on the iphone dfu check emit or iphone dfu gaster so i'll go with the check emit version so just click on the check emit and then the device will automatically pawn be pawned All right, sure. So the pawn is successful. You can see that. Just click on the OK button, and then you click on the boot. That is the second boot. Okay. So you click on the boot, and by default, you have to confirm once again to um, download the boot file. 
for your device. Okay, so after the booting is successful, you see that message, you click OK and click on the backup passcode. That is the third option. Alright, sure. So after the backup is successful, you see this message. So you have to confirm if the backup is saved correctly by opening the two folder and head over to the backup folder so you see this your uh, your ecid and then you just open to confirm if all these informations are available so once you do that you see that you just click on yes to erase the device and proceed with the next thing so you just wait while the uh, okay so the software has successfully erased your device so you just wait for the device to boot up and then proceed with the um step two all right so real quick here we are again the device has successfully booted up and you can see it's on the activation lock screen real quick let's put the device back into the recovery mode just like we did earlier and then and um, to dfu mode All right, sure. So now we are in the recovery mode. So um, let's use the DFU helper once again to put the device into um, DFU mode. Click on start, follow the on screen instructions to put the device into DFU. All right, sure. So you can see the device is in DFU mode now. You can go ahead and select your iOS version and click on the pawn. Check emit once again. Just like we did earlier, the same process. All right, sure. So the pawn is successful. You just click on OK and click on boot.
all right sure so the booting is successful uh, so you just click on the fifth option that is activate passcode that is the final thing to do All right, sure. So we've successfully activated the device. What you need to do is just click on OK, and then the device will automatically reboot and skip the setup. So this bypass is persistent after reboot. So do not worry. You can set a new password and also um, sign into iCloud and use the SIM and all apple services without any restrictions here we are let me just test the sim card real quick to see if everything is working <laughs> 